Hello there traders, we're back with a new video. If you are a Forex trader, then it is quite likely that you are familiar with MetaTrader 4 or 5. However, today, our topic is not about MetaTrader, but it is about TradingView. In today's video, we will be providing you a beginner's guide to TradingView from the perspective of a MetaTrader user. TradingView is primarily a charting platform along with trading capabilities, while MetaTrader is primarily a trading platform along with charting capabilities. Both MetaTrader and TradingView have desktop app, web app, and mobile apps. In MetaTrader, the desktop version is usually the fully featured software, while the web app and the mobile app would have limitations on features compared to desktop app. In terms of TradingView, both the web app and the desktop app have quite the same features, while the mobile app would have some limitations on features. On the other hand, MetaTrader is completely free, while TradingView is a paid service with a free version with limited features. Further, MetaTrader is widely offered by Forex traders, while the broker support on TradingView is limited. Let's go to TradingView website. You can see it has several subscription packages. The free basic subscription should be enough for a beginner to get started. But the paid subscription packages have more features depending on the package. Some of the key limitations on the free basic plan are that you can have only two indicators per chart, and you can have only one save chart layout. Now let's see how we can open a chart. On MetaTrader, you can simply right-click on a pair you want from the market watch and open the pair in a new chart. Similarly, on Trading View, from the home page, select the products menu and then select super charts. Then, you can click on symbol search on top left corner and type in the pair name and then select the same to load that particular chart. On MetaTrader, you can only access the pairs offered by your broker. But on TradingView, you get access to pairs offered by many different brokers. So you will see the same pair name from different brokers or data sources. Now let's see how you load an indicator to a chart. On MetaTrader, you get a set of default indicators, and also, you can add custom indicators by placing the indicator files under the indicators folder and then simply loading it to any chart. Also, you can change the settings of the indicator and you can simply save any chart with indicators as a template file and later load the same on any chart quickly. This can be done on TradingView on a similar fashion. You can simply click on indicators and then select the technical category. Then just type in the name of the indicator you want or select from the drop-down list. There are hundreds of default technical indicators and also community indicators provided by other users. You can also click on the star mark on the left side of the indicator name to add the indicator into your favorite category for easy access later. When you load the indicator, you can click on the indicator to get its details bar. On that bar, you can hide or view the indicator and also click on the settings to change the settings and appearance of the indicator as per your requirements. Further, you can click on the delete icon to delete the indicator from the chart. Similarly, you can add more indicators to your chart depending on the subscription plan you have. As mentioned before, the free version allows only two indicators to be added onto a single chart. You can also save the chart with indicators as a template, like in the case of MetaTrader. To do that, you just need to click on the Save button on the top right area. You can give it a name you like, then later you can simply load this template to any chart easily. As mentioned before, you can save only one template on the free version. Now, let's see how you can enter the trades. On MetaTrader, you need to log in to your broker account after the initial installation of the software. After that, you can simply open the trading panel from the top left corner and use the buy and sell buttons to enter the trades. Similarly, on TradingView, you first need to connect your broker to TradingView. However, not all brokers support TradingView for trading. To see the list of supported brokers, click on the trading panel link on the bottom of the TradingView platform. Then select your broker and proceed to connect. Let's connect our broker IC Markets, which is a supported broker. You may need to have a CTrader account with your broker before you can connect to TradingView. 
If you do not already have a CTrader account, you will be asked to do it in the process. Now we have connected to our IC Markets CTrader account. We can now directly place trades on our broker's CTrader account from TradingView itself. Let's see how we can do it. Simply click on the trade button to open the trading panel on the right side. Now, things are quite similar to your MetaTrader. You can click on buy or sell depending on your order. Then, you can select the order type such as market, limit, stop, and so on. Also, you can optionally set a take profit and a stop loss. However, the trade volume sizing is a bit different from MetaTrader, where you simply use the volume in lots. One standard lot is usually 100,000 units. For instance, on MetaTrader, if you buy 0.01 lots on Euro USD, that means you are buying 1,000 euros by paying in USD. On TradingView, we directly use units rather than lots. That means if you want to buy 0.01 lots, you need to buy 1,000 units on TradingView. The amount of USD required to buy this volume will be decided by your leverage. Also, you can select other options like risking a percentage of the balance. In that case, you select the percentage and then the number of units will be calculated automatically. Let's open a market buy position using 1% of the balance without any take profit or stop loss just for the sake of demonstration. You will see that the order was executed. On the trade sub window, you can see all the trading details such as open positions, orders, history, account summary and so on. This is quite similar to MetaTrader. Also, you can modify the stop loss and take profit by clicking on the edit icon on the open positions list. Further, you can close the trade by clicking on the cross mark on the open positions list. You may also close only part of the trade if necessary. Now let's look at the trading robots. The key difference between MetaTrader and the trading view in terms of trading automation is that there are no trading robots or expert advisors for trading view similar to MetaTrader that can automate trading. For MetaTrader, you can code trading robots or expert advisors in MQL language and then backtest them and then run them on a live account for fully automated trading. For TradingView, you can only create trading strategies and backtest them while there is no inbuilt way to run the strategies on a live market for automated trading. But, you can create alerts based on your strategy and then manually enter the trades. For trading strategies, you can either code the strategy by yourself or else you can select a community-based open source strategy. TradingView uses a proprietary programming language called Pine Scripts for its indicators and strategy development. Let's see how we can select a community-based strategy and set an alert based on the same. Click on Load Your Strategy button. Then on Search Bar, type in Strategy or other name if you know it. From the drop-down list, you can select any strategy. Up and down arrows in front of the name indicates that it is a strategy rather than an indicator. There are some inbuilt strategies as well as community-based strategies. Let's select a random community strategy for demonstration. Once you load the strategy, you can instantly see the backtesting results. You can select the strategy settings icon to change the settings of the strategy if necessary. Whenever you change the strategy settings, the backtesting results will change soon after. If the backtesting results are good enough, you can set an alert to get buy and sell alerts based on the strategy. To do it, simply click on the alerts icon, then give it a name and then select the type of notifications you want and then click on create button to create the alert. Now whenever there is a buy or sell opportunity based on the strategy rules, you will get the selected notifications. Please note, there are limitations on the number of alerts you can make depending on your subscription package. It is not necessary to keep the chart open to receive the notifications as everything is server-based. You can remove the strategy from the chart via the object tree and data window on the right side of the platform. Simply click on the remove icon from the list to remove the strategy. Now we have covered all the basic aspects of TradingView. Now let's see the other features offered by TradingView over MetaTrader. As you know, MetaTrader provides nine timeframes from one minute charts to monthly charts. Also, it offers only three types of charts as bar charts, candlestick charts, and line charts. 
But if you look at TradingView, you will notice you get many more time frame options from one second chart, and also, you can even set a custom time frame of your choice. In addition, you will see that TradingView provides many more chart types with advanced features. And you know that MetaTrader provides a very limited set of drawing tools, such as lines, arrows, FIBO lines, and text. On the other hand, TradingView boasts much more advanced and user-friendly drawing capabilities. Drawing tools are given on the left side of the platform. Let's try some tools. Each drawing you make will have its own settings where you can edit or delete them as necessary. Two of the most common drawing tools you would have often seen on trading view charts are long position and short position tools. These tools enable you to plan your trade by marking potential entry points, take profit level, stop loss level, risk and reward ratio, and other useful information on the chart itself in a very visual way. Let me show you a drawing of a potential long position with this tool. Now you can see we have a potential entry for demonstration. You can see its entry, risk to reward ratio, and the distance to take profit price in green and to stop loss price in red. Also, the drawings you made can be removed from the chart from the object tree window on your right side. Now, let's look at another useful trading view feature that is not available on MetaTrader platform. If you want to backtest a manual strategy, then you have no built-in option on MetaTrader. The only option you could have is to use a third-party simulator EA as an add-on. However, TradingView provides a built-in bar replay feature where you can select a past date and then play the chart from that point onwards while entering simulated trades when you see an opportunity. This enables you to backtest your manual strategy before you use it on a real account. Please note that for free users, TradingView allows only the daily time frame for bar replay. Let's see how you do it. First click on Replay button on the top menu. Then you will see the replay panel on the bottom area. Also, you will then see a blue vertical line on the chart. What you need to do is to go back and select a past candle since when you want to back test. Then you need to click on the play button. Then you will see that the chart is running from the past date you selected. The speed of the replay can also be adjusted. Alternatively, you can click on the pause button and then manually move the chart candle by candle using the forward button. You can also have all your indicators while you are doing the replay. Let's open a simulated buy trade. You can set the volume, take profit and stop loss level as well on the chart. Now let's move forward and see what happens. You can see the trade reached its take profit level, and you can see the simulated profit we earned on the bottom area. Similarly, you can keep replaying and entering trades for the selected past period and see how your strategy performed during the backtesting period. Last but not least, let's look at another useful feature that can come in handy for traders. TradingView provides a quick screening tool for stocks, forex, crypto, and many other assets. You can filter and list out different assets or pairs based on different criteria. This makes it easy for a trader to decide which asset or pair to trade or be on the alert for potential entries. For instance, let's look at the stock screener. It provides various technical analytic figures, such as P.E. ratio, EPS, market cap, and many others, along with a technical rating. With this analysis, you can quickly identify the stocks you want to buy or sell. This ends our video today, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Finally, do not forget to subscribe to our channel for future videos. Thank you for watching and see you around.